Hello guys, welcome back to Take Dose. And in this video, we will look at minimum length of string after operations problem, which is from lead code number three double two three. Let's now look at the problem statement. In this problem, you are given a string s, and you can perform the following process on s any number of times. Choose an index i in the string such that there is at least one character to the left of index i that is equals to s at i, and at least one character to the right that is equals to s at i. Delete the closest character to the left of index i that is equals to s at i, and delete the closest character to the right of index i that is equals to s at i. Return the minimum length of the final string s that you can achieve. Okay. Now let's look at the constraint before we look at the example. Now in this case, the length of the string can be two times of ten to the power of five. So definitely, writing an n square algorithm will make it four times of ten to the power of ten. and we should make sure that the total number of operations are less than 10 to the power of 8 therefore we cannot write an n square algorithm uh, the string consists of only lower case english letters now let's look at an example for better understanding let's say that our given string is of length 10 and that is already mentioned containing a b c now it can contain any of the lower case letters so in this case if i pick index 2 then it has at least 1b to the left and at least 1b to the right so if you pick index 2 then you can remove 1 and 5 and then you will reach to the new string and now let's pick again index 2 which is containing a this can be picked because it has at least 1a on the left and at least 1a on the right so you can remove this 0 and 4 and this will be the new state of the string again you can pick let's say index 3 and you can uh, delete 1c on the left and 1c on the right which is the closest right so you can remove this 2 and 5 and then you will reach to a new state of string and now you cannot pick any of the character indices because there are no characters uh, which are having at least three frequency right so from this you can make out that the final answer will be length 4 and if you have to solve this through simulation then you can just iterate from left to right and for each character find the nearest on the left and nearest on the right so whenever you uh, find let's say a find the nearest on left so there is nobody on left for b find the nearest on left and nearest on right then for b again find the nearest on left and nearest on right so you can keep on doing this and you know that if you do this it will be n square and we saw this in the constraint section that you cannot do an n square algorithm because n is 2 times of 10 to the power of 5 we need to do something better than n square now having understood this let's try to understand that if we have certain frequency of let's say character a then what it will reduce to so let's say there is a string which have which has only one character a because character a will not be affected by any of the characters so if you have just one a the final string will also have a single a if you had two a's in the entire string these are all the spaces where there will be different characters so if you have two a's the final string will also have two a's right the final string will have two a's if you had three a's then you can pick the middle a and you can remove the left a and right a and after this the string will change to a single a and in this single a you cannot remove any one now so the final string will be having exactly one a if you take length 4a that means a string where a's occur four times in this case you can pick the second day and remove the first and the third day so your string will be changing to two a's right and in this case now you cannot pick any of the a's because it will not satisfy that it has a's on both the sides so the final string will be having two count of a's if you take a string where you have five a's you can pick the second day remove the first and the third day then your string will be changing to a a and a that means three a's so you can again pick the middle a and remove the first a and the last a so your string will be again converted to a single a and so the count will be one now if you look at length 6 then again you can pick the second a remove the first and the third a so you will have four a's now and now again you can solve for the four a's as you already know that the four a's will be getting you the result equals to 2 right so i can say that the result will be equals to 2 so all the even numbers will actually give you the same frequency by the end the 4 is giving the answer as the 2 was giving the 6 will be giving the answer as the 4 was giving the 8 will be giving the answer as 6 is giving because from 
eight frequency uh, characters if you remove two a's then you will reach to six frequency right so it is kind of a ladder and uh, the smallest unit is two so two will always uh, give the frequency equals to two and any of the other frequencies like four six eight ten and so on will all be reduced to length two and similarly if you look at the odd length then the five is reduced to length three and then it is reduced to length one and giving the answer one so five is reduced to length three and three is reduced to length one even if you solve for seven frequency of a then it will be reduced to five frequency because two a's will be removed isn't it so at the end it will be giving what the one frequency is giving as an answer so you can make out that if a character has even frequency then the answer will always be two at the end and if the character has odd frequency then the answer will always be one that means only one character will be left by the end after doing this reduction so if you want to calculate the final frequency then you have to find out the frequency of character if the character does not occur in the string then it will never occur in the final string that makes sense if the character frequency is one or two the final frequency will also be one or two but if the frequency is greater than two then it can always be reduced to either one or two depending on if if the character frequency is odd or even so if the frequency is odd then you will get final frequency of the character as one as we saw previously in the dry run otherwise if the frequency is even then you will always end up with two frequency of the characters now once you have understood about calculating the final frequency let's look at a dry run so i have taken a string of 17 size containing a b c d and uh, the first step is to find the frequency of each of the character by traversing this string exactly one time and if you find the frequency a b c d will be occurring four five seven one time now after doing this after doing this step number one the step number two is to iterate through this entire map and find out the frequency and keep on adding to the count value so the count value will be zero initially and i will be going to a and you know that it is an even number so if it is an even number i will be adding two for the count because previously we had derived that if the frequency is even then i will end up exactly with two count okay zero is the only even number if i happen to save a zero frequency as well then zero is the only number where i have to save zero otherwise it will always be two now you go to b and it is an odd frequency for odd frequency the uh, contribution will be one because you will be left by only one character at the end after reduction so for c the contribution will be one and for d the contribution will be one so after parsing the total characters left in the final string after doing all the reduction will be exactly five and that is why we will return five as an answer okay so this entire process requires that you go through the entire string order of n and then you go through this map which is 26 size because it will contain unique entries for unique letters and there can be maximum 26 letters so the time complexity is order of n space complexity is order of one because the map is only of 26 size let's now look at the code if you are someone who is looking to prepare for top product based company within a limited time of just three months then we have brought for you both the dsa and the system design live interview training program the most important feature of this program is you get a filtered and condensed structured curriculum in-depth discussion of all the topics and my guarantee of your understanding one-on-one -on -one guidance with me and live weekend classes to know more about the training you can whatsapp us on this given number in this code we are given the string s and i have taken an array which will act like a map of 26 size initialized to value zero each of the frequency will be zero initially now the step one is to iterate through the entire string and find out the frequency of each character and then i will be taking a counter which is length equals to zero i iterate through each of the entry of the map and if the map entry is an odd number then i will be adding one to the contribution and if it is an even number then i will be adding two to the contribution i have written it in the form of minimum of two comma frequency at i because if the frequency at i is zero then i will be uh, adding zero because i have taken an array instead of taking a hash map so this is the entire solution and i hope you were able to understand it if you still have any doubt then feel free to comment below and i'll try to help you as soon as possible like and share our video and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more of this programming video see you guys in the next video thank you